This short video will demonstrate checking out items in Sitka's Evergreen. Checkout takes place in the patron record. The patron record is retrieved by scanning the patron's barcode in the checkout screen, which is accessed through the menu, Circulation Checkout, using the shortcut on the home page, or by using the F1 function key on your keyboard. The patron can also be retrieved via a patron search. Search, search for patrons, enter your search term, and select the appropriate patron. The checkout screen is the first screen to display when the record is retrieved, unless the patron has alerts, which will display first. To check out an item, simply scan the item into the barcode field. The system will use your circulation policies to determine what loan period should be applied to the item. Specific due date under Date Options allows staff to enter a different date in the event an exception is being made for an item. Adjust the date by typing in the new date or by using the calendar widget to select the new date. Scan your item. The item is now checked out with the date you specified as its due date. Selecting Use Specific Due Date Until Logout means the due date you entered will be used for all checkouts until you deselect it or log out of the Evergreen Staff Client. In addition to the date, a due date time can be specified when checking out hourly loans. If an item is already checked out to another patron, a prompt will appear. Staff then have the option to cancel the checkout or do a normal check-in then checkout. Staff can check the Forgive Fines checkbox to forgive any fines owing on the original checkout. Once all items are checked out, click Quick Receipt or Done. The icon beside Quick Receipt indicates the patron's receipt preference. An envelope icon indicates they'll get an email. A printer icon indicates they'll get a printed receipt. The drop-down menu can be used to select either option as well. The patron's account will remain open after the receipt is generated. Clicking Done will trigger a print receipt or send an email receipt, depending on the patron's preference, and then close the account. The drop-down menu allows staff to manually select No Receipt, Email Receipt, or print receipt before the account is closed. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.